congratulations again on being a finalist. Um, we're having, you know, just some casual conversations with a few of the top finalists, and it's really helpful for us to, you know, make a final decision. Thank you again, Eli. Really appreciate you taking the time to meet with us today. And thanks for submitting your essay to um, our BIPOC uh, Education New Zealand flight giveaway. I think your essay in particular was was really powerful and personal in terms of talking about your background. So we just have a few really quick questions to kind of ask you a little bit more about your experience. Tell us a little for, bit more about, about your interest in learning about Maori culture. For me, it would be like continuing to research indigenous people or indigenous people, like uh, just understanding like different cultural aspects. Like, so I've always had a dream of like, most people like they live in the same place their whole lives and I really want to like branch out and discover more about the world. That's why I chose anthropology in, in such a huge, a huge aspect because um, I just thought it would be a really cool profession to, to study um, the ways of life. You know, a lot of people look at me and they're like, oh, that's he's definitely a white guy, but I am I would classify as mixed, you know, <laughs> and uh, I I love my own culture and my grandma's 100% Hawaiian, so my dad is Hawaiian himself. And uh, it's 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 really nice. You know, we visit Honolulu sometimes and I get to explore like the king of Hawaii and the history behind it and what led to our ancestors. So I found that really interesting and I'm hoping to kind of find that in New Zealand as well. That's great. Have you, have you researched any of the universities? Do you know what school you might want to go to? Mm -hmm. not, not yet, unfortunately. Not yet? Okay. Well, you're in really great hands because the ENZ team will make sure that you find a great um, university to suit your needs um, because you're actually our winner. Surprise, this is not a finalist interview. <laughs> we would love to support you and um, send you to New Zealand. Yeah. So so I, I win? You actually won. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Congrats. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> reading your essay and again we had very strong finalists and semi-finalists but you know yours yours really stood out and um you're like the ideal student that we want to be sending to new zealand that we want to promote and kind of share your story too so we're just excited for the experience you'll have in new zealand and what what you'll do with it in the future i was yeah really really struck by i guess the perspective you took and and for myself um being maori and uh, from other places in the pacific um you know i think when you spoke about your great grandmother yeah i just was really drawn to um i guess the way you chose to share your perspective in terms of so i'm so excited for you to um yeah come to my country and to visit um to visit us but also too i think just the the gift um that we will get as a country from having you in our space um for however long it is you choose to um come and be with us you got to get on the plane tomorrow you got to go right now use it. You, you'll use it so <laughs> sorry yeah <laughs> okay on my way. Before we start, can you just share your name, year, yes. university, and major, please? My name is Namuga Nakaiza. Um, I go by Nana. I am an international studies and sociology double major at the University of Denver. I know you wrote about it in your essay, but what drew you to New Zealand? I, when I was picking which country to go to next, because I mean, I found the opportunity, I um, was picking between Australia and New Zealand, because this would be another continent I've never visited before. And so, and my main goal is to build community all over the world so that I can get to understand the people that I've you know, aspire to advocate for in the future because I aspire to advocate for people based off of their humanity. In picking between Australia and New Zealand, I noticed that New Zealand is very recognizing of their indigenous people. And while I was in Thailand, I got to learn a lot about the indigenous people out there. So a lot of the indigenous tribes, um, learning about how they aren't really recognized by the government and most of them are not even considered citizens of Thailand, got me to want to learn more about um, the indigenous people all over the world. And so hearing about how they don't have their land rights simply because they're not recognized by the government has always thrown me off. But in New Zealand, I mean, there are places named with indigenous um, names. Now, I noticed just through like looking at the map of New Zealand and um, also like with a few things that I've heard, especially with um, as of recently understanding the Palestinian struggle, mm -hmm. um, especially with the genocide happening, how the, the Maori people 
in New Zealand have been, you know, advocating and standing up alongside the Palestinian people, it's definitely sparked my interest in understanding what is it like to be an indigenous people that's recognized and also in what ways are they, you know, not recognized at all. And so all of these things come into question as I, you know, pick my countries and that's why I chose New Zealand specifically. Well, Nana, it was so good to, you know, ask you a few questions and I will say that we've been having such a tough time deciding between our top two candidates in particular. And I'm I'm really thrilled that we actually won't have to decide between two people because the University of Otago has generously offered to fly you to New Zealand. So guys, oh my god. Wait, thank you so much. Oh my god. My heart just dropped. Oh my gosh. Thank We're you. so excited to receive you, Namuga, at the University of Otago. Thank you so much for choosing us for your experience. And it was an honor to read what you had to write about Aotearoa, New Zealand, about us as a university, and know that what you bring to us is hopefully the same thing that you'll you'll be taking back home with you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.